We are on fourcornersproject.org and I'm going to show you how to make a four corners photograph. So I'm clicking on create your own. And the create your own tab allows you to have a template that's easy to fill out for each of your four corners. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my photo. This is my primary photo. Four Corners does not host your image, so it has to be hosted on another site. So I'm going to copy and paste in my image link. So you'll see as soon as I paste in my image link, it appears on the right in the preview. When I drag my cursor over the image, all four corners appear and then are clickable. I'm going to start by filling out the authorship tab, which is on the bottom right. And I'm going to copy and paste in my caption information. So this is a short description that allows the viewer to know a little bit more about what's going on in the image. I'm going to then fill out my credit information. The photographer is William Anders, who is an astronaut. Then I'm going to choose the licensing option. And it gives you two options, either copyright or creative commons. If you click on Creative Commons, it allows you to choose different options within Creative Commons. I'm going to choose Copyright for this specific image. I'm going to type in the year, 1968, and the copyright holder is also NASA. Then Authorship also allows you to either write your own or select a code of ethics. So I would click Write Your Own here and type in my own, or I can select one of these options provided. For this image, I'm going to select photojournalist for William Anders, and my code of ethics appears on the bottom right. Then I'm going to copy and paste in my bio for the image maker, William Anders. Then below that, there's you can add in a website or you can add in contact information, an email, a website, an agency website. And then once you're done with authorship, you can collapse the section and go to the next corner, which is the bottom left corner, Backstory. And this allows you to give a more extended explanation of what's happening in the photograph. So I'm going to copy and paste in my backstory. So once you've written your backstory, you can also add in a SoundCloud link and this will embed a SoundCloud player into the bottom left corner. And so if you have an interview with one of your subjects or a news report, you can add that in in this corner as well. So then I'm going to go to the upper left corner, which is related imagery. It provides three options for you to add an image, a YouTube link, or a Vimeo link. I'm going to add in an image link and a YouTube link. So you click here, and I'm going to copy and paste in my image link. This works similarly to the primary photo where the image needs to be hosted on another site. So when I paste in my image link, it appears in the upper left corner. And this is a stamp that was made from William Anders' photo. I can then put you know, any caption information I want to about this specific stamp photo or credit. I'm then going to add a YouTube link. And this embeds the YouTube player into the upper left corner. And once I paste in the link, again, it will preview in the corner. And then you can play it. These arrows here allow you to change the sequence of how your image, YouTube, or Vimeo links appear. So I'm going to put the YouTube link on the top. And you'll see it appears at the top. Then I'm going to collapse the related imagery section and move on to links, which is on the upper right corner. I'm going to add a link, and I can put the title of where that link will take my viewer. Time listed, the Earthrise photo is one of the 100 most influential images of all time, so I want my viewer to look at that. So I'm now going to put in the link as well. And then once you paste those in, they're clickable. You can add more links, and then again you can change the sequence by using the up or down arrows.
Once you've filled out all four corners, you can then go to embedding options. There is a dark mode, which changes the way that the corners appear. So you'll see now they're this dark gray instead of white. So if you have a bright white image, this would be useful. I'm going to turn it off for now because the white stands out more on this image. So you can also choose information that goes underneath your photo. So if I wanted the caption to appear that I entered into authorship, it will appear under the image or the credit or the Four Corners logo, which then the user can click and it will take them to our website if they want to learn more. Then once you're done putting in all the information in the template, you can then put your Four Corners generated code onto your website. So in order for, to prepare your website for Four Corners, you want to copy and paste this information here into the, you then want to add this text to the head tag of your website. And once you copy and paste this in, you can then use Four Corners on your site whenever. There will be more specific instructions to popular websites. So there will be more specific instructions that will provide for popular websites like Squarespace and WordPress. And once you've pasted in your head tag, you can then paste in the code for your individual Four Corners image. And you again want to copy and paste this into your site as if you were making a post or posting an image. And again, there will be more specific instructions that we provide on the site that will be specific to websites like Squarespace and WordPress. If you encounter any technical difficulties, we have a contact section on our site where you can reach out to us with any questions. We're happy to help. Thank you so much for using Four Corners. Stay tuned for updates on our site and our different projects.